Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honotak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 together with the newest DLC, uh, Rule Britannia. Welcome back to our hard uh, Holland campaign. Um, we made good progress, we have now Liège under our control, we have um, only to take Utrecht and Upper Gelders and uh, no over here and then we're basically done with our European ambitions. Uh, which means we're gonna like look outward we're gonna try to take north america and ideally some of the caribbean because if you look at the like the trading things the caribbean can be yeah they're pushing into here into bordeaux and we could actually get some power projection into bordeaux i mean it's all being pushed further to the champagne and then from champagne and uh, Ch champagne it actually comes into the english channel in any case so I think that's all right. <clears throat> um, what else? What else do we do? We have too few rivals. That is okay. Our vassal has high liberty desire. We will have to um, make sure that our neighbors like us a little bit more. We had 58 pre uh, prestige. The problem is if we want to like start colonizing and everything, I think we have to switch to reformed, which I will do now. This cost us 100 prestige though, so it is actually a pretty crazy move. But, oh well, like, we'll do it, we'll do it. Um, we'll also go ahead and convert Amsterdam. We should have gotten a center of reformation in one of our places. Oh yeah, Roningen, no, Hennigau. Oh, is it in Antwerp? We have to have a center of reformation somewhere. Where is it? Oh yeah, okay, so it's in Hennigal, which is reformed now. And we're gonna try to change as, any, as many provinces as possible. A, I'm even thinking about actually becoming Defender of the Faith. The one problem that we have is that France really doesn't like us anymore because we're now a neighboring heretic religion. That is a bit of a problem. Uh, so they desire our problems, uh, provinces and they don't like us. That's not good. If we can, we actually want to push the Diplomatic 10 because that's going to give us another 100 colonial range and it's going to allow us to basically go for everything. Bremen has cancelled the military access. We're just trying to improve our relations with everyone in the Empire since we've been grabbing a lot of land. Hey, trade expansion. Okay, more trade efficiency. That is going to help a ton, giving us a lot more money. Uh, we're getting the admin tech. Hmm. We're forty-five percent ahead of time. Are we like paying fifty percent more for that tech? I am actually thinking about spending a bunch of admin power on a couple of our provinces, but maybe we won't for now. I still have the mission reward over here, expand Holland, which is gonna give us the Holland area, gives us a 10% less local development cost and less construction cost. So it seems kind of nice. I think we're going to wait. We're in no rush to spend those admin points. We're actually all right. How is our, yeah, our army force limit has gone up. So we can take another cannon, I think. Let's get up to 27. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Münster has embraced colonialism. That is fine, I'd say. We have, we have a ton of money. Um, prestige is actually getting better because we have Erasmus. Could even pay Erasmus even more money and increase his skill um, up to a max of five. But I won't. I won't. We actually want to keep our money together because um, building colonies is actually rather expensive. So Flanders has been reformed. It's good. So tempted to become defender of the faith. How much would that cost? 500. It gives us an extra missionary, which is kind of nice. Let's go for trade. Won't be able to keep it up all the time. And Aldenburg has declared wanted Martian, so. All right. I could upgrade all my trade ships to the next level. It will cost me 340. Get rid of all the box. I'm not sure I want to. I'd rather keep my money. When is the next level um, over here? Well, level 15. It's still five tech levels. 
It's a while. Galra has embraced colonialism. Hmm. <laughs> uh, so we're done exploring the Atlantic South American Sea. Let's send you into the Caribbean now. Um, explore. Go and explore the Caribbean Sea, maybe. I think that's a good idea. I don't think we would even be able to circumnavigate the globe at this point. No one else has done it. Normally the AI is actually pretty willing to do so, if they can. Lej is building up its army. That's probably not good for us, because it's going to increase their liberty desire, but oh well. Hmm, we're putting 30. <laughs> we're putting 30 trade out of this. That is insanity. That is absolute insanity. Okay, so we're done with Amsterdam. Let's go and make our capital into a thing. Uh, Den Haag. Nassau is now an electorate. Okay. Or an elector. They really don't like us. I can only improve with 12 or something like that. I guess that's just how it has to be. So Brussels is now reformed. Ah, oh, damn it. This is going to be Protestant. Damn! That's not good. Antwerp is actually a pretty important province for us. And this is not going where we want it to go. Münster have claimed East Friesland. East Friesland. That's all right. I mean, people are not incredibly mad because we have a high tolerance for people. Oh, we, we do have the Declaration of Indulgence. Like, we could go and have more missionary strength, but really, we want more tolerance of heretics. Like, it puts us up to three. Cool. So, we are actually tolerating people of the true faith um, just as much as uh, heretics. That is pretty good. We're a very tolerant country. I like it. I really like it. It's nice. It's what you want your country to be. Your trade protection against Spain. All right, then. I guess they're privateering up here. I mean, it is a very rich trade node. They're also going to take some of our profits. Antwerp has uh, been converted to Protestant. Come on, go and convert somewhere else. Yeah, I mean, we have the center of reformation right next to us, so it's expected that it would convert some of our provinces. I would just, like, not mind if they actually went and converted some Catholics instead. But oh well. What's our own center doing? Meh. Nah. It's okay. We're going to be able to move to reform pretty soon. Cologne is going to strive for a tolerant society. That sounds like a good idea, actually. Let's go up in speed here. Um, so admin tech is still an option. Military tech is still an option. None of these will actually give us any innovativeness points. Denmark is influencing NO now. How are we in terms of great power status? Okay, I mean... We're not that far away from Muscovy, at least in like real terms. But we're not quite there yet. So do we want to invest in exploration ideas? I mean, having two colonists available is like kind of a big deal. But then again, having the next Diplotech will allow us to get any colonies at all. So, rather one <laughs> than none. Okay, so we have Groningen, Zeeland, Lawn. Yeah, let's go for Friesland. Why not? Doesn't really matter too much. We have loans that we have to pay back. So I will do that. War games. Um, Lüneburg has been fully annexed by Oldenburg. And these guys are going crazy. War games. Our generals have asked us for funds to conduct a massive military field exercise to reenact one of the great classical battles. This would be quite costly and take up a lot of their time, but they insist it would both provide valuable insights to them, be a good way to drill the troops, and perhaps intimidate our neighbors as well. It's a bunch of manpower, a bunch of money for five prestige, five percent professionalism. Oh yeah. That's worth the money and the manpower, for sure. Like, getting our prestige up is also pretty important. Um, still have the improved relations guy over here. I'm solely tempted to actually boost that guy up to the next level. Clevis, full annexation. Münster has grown a ton! Trier has announced me as their rival. Come on, Trier, don't be like that. 
Okay, we're done with Alsace. Um, let's try to improve with Münster. They might still be interested in attacking us at this point. Maybe not, though. Duke. France has started in France Nation on Siena. Yeah, they can do that because they're great power. And we've got the Caribbean Sea. So let's go ahead and... I don't think we see anything in that area. No. So let's send them out there again. Explore. And let's actually chart the coasts. I think that's a good idea. Well, maybe we can actually reach there. That will be kind of good. Protestant neighbors reach out. The Church of Münster is far from being in full agreement with the Church of Holland in many spiritual matters, but in one worldly matter we agree. The hegemony of the Pope and the Patriarchs cannot be accepted by true Christians. This to them is clearly sufficient reason to cooperate, despite them being Protestant and us being reformed. What takes precedence? The political reality of our common enemy or our church doctrine? Um, let's take the prestige and relationship improvement. I think that's a very good uh, thing, so... Yeah, let's be let's be friends with them. Reformation pioneers. The truth of the Palatinate has ended. That's all right. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be difficult to get that from from Denmark. We might be able to maybe fabricate a trade conflict with Pomerania, who is um, allied with Denmark, but they're also allied with England. Holy cow! You have a crazy web of alliances. Friesland is changed. Ghent is now reformed. Um, let's go ahead. Let's go Zealand. I really would like to have my capital state at least be fully reformed. Still losing further points. Clergy is not very happy. Further in focus on trade. Ah. Okay, we're done improving with Burgundy. Nothing else we can do in that regard. Let's, imp let's improve with France as far as we can. Can still gain six points. I really don't want this alliance to break. That would be rather maddening. Palatinate will no longer steer their trade towards us. Ah, what a shame. What an absolute shame. Okay, we're done improving with France. Who else could be... Yeah, let's actually go for Oldenburg. They're becoming quite the power in the region. Let's be a bit careful. Utrecht is allied with England and Oldenburg. Okay. Well, we might have to fight Oldenburg in the future. I don't have a claim on these guys. It is a bit of a problem, though. I mean, I could probably vassalize Galra. I have a claim on Upper Gelders still. It's gonna run out very soon. 37. Couple of years. Um, taking more land in the HRE. It's not a good idea. People still have like almost 50 aggressive expansion. So they're not quite there yet uh, anymore to form a, a coalition. But they might get there. Nobility loses some influence. That's good. Come on. Almost there for the new Diplotech. I want it. Sending ministers abroad. Um, many within the church are of the opinion that we, as a leading reform nation, should send our ministers abroad to ensure that true reformation continues to spread. For the glory of God, we can give Oversticht, foreign reform ministers, reducing their local missionary strength and annoying Utrecht or keep it within our borders. No, yeah, let's make our clergy happy. Makes sense. How much do they expect from the, from the land? They expect to control at least 10%. Okay. I mean, I could probably give them 10% of the land if I wanted to. I don't want to, though. We have border friction. Just with the lane has ended. Yeah, I don't want to give up my claim on Namur. So, screw you, Eno. We have a ton of aggressive expansion with them in any case, so that doesn't make a difference. Um, let's take the Diplotech now. Yep, thanks. Um, so that opens up this whole area. Now, what do we want? How is this looking? So this is a colonial nation of Spain. 
There's a ton of land down here already. I, it is conceivable that I could like get these three over here, and then maybe that one, and basically get that area. But I might also just want to go and really get Northern America. Oh, damn it. We're still too far away even with that tech. Gotta be shitting me. This one is not an option. Bermuda. That probably also means that Portugal is probably going to be first in Northern England. I could go ahead and colonize Canada. But I'm also tempted to go down here. If only to later have a colonial nation of my own that can take over Spain's colonial region. So I think we're actually going to go for Guadeloupe. Zealand is done. Let's go for Groningen then. And we're done with the Caribbean Sea. Okay, so you can explore. You're gonna explore... The American East Coast, I think. Have a look at it. We need more information about this. Our Admiral has died. No! The Dutch trading fleet is without a leader. We have... Holy cow! We have 96 Navy tradition? That is incredible. We should be able to get a really good Admiral out of this. If we can get the points together. And Erasmus has died. That's kind of shitty. Mm, I think we're just going to take the tax guy here. That makes the most sense. These guys actually want access. How so? Muscovy, Theodoro, and Ryazan. This is the fight. Polish conquest of Bezhesk. Over here. <laughs> Um, why do you want access, though? I mean, I guess I'm just gonna give them access. Let them have access. Sure. Why not? I mean, I'm giving access to my rival, which is a bit of an insanity, but oh well. Let's repay the loan. And we're gonna start our own colonial nation down here. Okay, let's recall the diplomat from Oldenburg. What else are we going to do with that diplomat? I think it might actually be time to improve with Liège. And then maybe we're going to just set the other guy to outraged. Just automate it a little bit. Okay. Münster has lost a bunch of land again to Cologne. So Cologne has taken <laughs> a ton of Münster in land. That's all right. We should probably improve with Cologne next. Like, the more powerful of these German states are definitely to be feared. The royal heretic. Oh, sorry. Um, people of Holland were pleased when Duke Johann announced his marriage to Maria Theresia. At the time, little was said about her origin or her upbringing in Wien. No, uh, to most common folk in Holland, royals are a breed of their own, and they care little for such details. I was the dreamers bring these issues to light. They have recently begun to spread. Some say the concert has refused to let go of her old Catholic faith. Hmm. We could divorce her. No, really, that's not a thing. National unrest for the next 10 years. We have to live with this. I can't help it. It sucks, but what else can I do? I'm going to pull you back from Münster right now. And we're going to send you to Cologne. See what we can do. They would actually be willing to go for an alliance. That might not be the worst move. Okay, so we have a colony in Guadeloupe. I'm gonna recall our guy there. Uh, we're gonna send it to Antigua. And we have the American East Coast. Alright, you can go and explore something else then. American East, East Coast, South Atlantic Coast. Why not? Let's go and explore the South Atlantic coast. Oh yeah, uh, our navy also needs a new admiral. Um, so recruit an admiral. Come on. Yeah, good. Why not? Simon Schoen. We have a question for access, which we're going to grant. That's good. So now things are going to happen. Um, converted the people in Groningen. 
trade conflict is going to expire with the Palatinate. Hmm. The, the more colonies I have, the more upkeep they're going to cost. The currently, we're just paying two. But every colony above that one is, like, increased a ton. Let's go for the admin tech. Don't really want to be at the max. Hmm. What does the manufacturing cost? Where are the buildings? Buildings over here. Manufacturing. Furnace. Yeah, that really needs more. This costs 400. If I go for my reward now, I might be able to build manufacturers in two at least. Den Hagen, Amsterdam. Question is, do I not need that money for my colonial endeavors? That's a real question here. I could probably stop these guys uh, from drilling. Save the military upkeep. Okay, let's pull that guy back from Cologne. I'm actually thinking that an alliance with Cologne might not be bad, but they are going for war after war. I don't really want to be pulled into internal HRE conflicts. It's not really something that I fancy. Military tech, we're just 5% ahead, so let's take that one. Can now build the weapons manufactory. It's okay. Didn't really get any new unit types. Let's repay the loan. We could do a bunch of development over here. Maybe. Increase some base tax. Uh, might not be the worst idea. We will, I think. So edicts, we're going to go to encourage development. Uh, they're also prospering, those provinces, which reduces development costs uh, even further. Let's go ahead, collect our thing over here. So that reduces local construction costs and development costs. And we gain three base tax things in Den Haag. So that's good. We're going to go ahead. This costs 30, this costs 24. Want to at least develop these to like 30 or something. Okay, we can't go any further. Hmm, yeah, right. I mean, still rather cheap. Zealand could also be developed. It's not really a very highly developed province. Having it at, at least 20 is definitely good for spread, but this also increases development costs by 25%. We might not want to do that. Uh, we might, however, want to build a manufactory over here. So let's do it. Yes, 375. And then in the other province, we can probably save a little bit. Baden has given back unlawful provinces. Okay, lose base tax in East Frisia. Gain base tax in Den Haag. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're just going to bring that down manually. That is alright. We can live with a little bit of uh, stuffs. Loon is now reformed because of Ansbach. That's good. Let's go ahead, send these guys out. We're going to explore Atlantic South America. Because why not? This looks interesting. What are you? Tupinamba. Tupinamba. Allied with Tupuya. What are these guys? Portuguese Brazil has a core on these provinces. Did they split off? Is that a thing? Truce with Portuguese Brazil. That is their leader. Duke Italo Caete Tupina who's Catholic, and Tupinamba. Right, okay, so... Yeah, these guys have actually broken free. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> that is really funny. Okay, we have a guy who's building a colony down here. Um, we should probably take the third one too, St. Kitts. So let's recall you. And send him out over here. And then I think we're going to leave our colonists down there for now. How did that... Yeah, we're up to 30 now. That's pretty cool. Let's uh, add another cannon. That brings us up to 28. 
and then two more infantry and then we're actually gonna leave that leave that unit i don't think i want to build up an army above 30 because of supply limit and stuff <laughs> yeah we could build a ton more marketplaces and things too if we wanted to um churches are built almost everywhere okay what about marketplaces though yeah we could actually get a little bit more trade power in our home trade nodes then again I only have now the reduction for the cost on the manufactory spread of disease. Okay, we're going to give them some money. Why not? We do have a native policy, right? Yeah, we do. We're going to go for native coexistence. That's good. Just don't want them to rise up in any form or fashion. Don't think that would be good. <laughs> we have high fervor. Let's go for trade. That should bring us some money. We're paying six for our colonies. We're paying 16. Holy cow. We're done exploring the Atlantic South American coast. Oh, cool. So, yeah, as usual, Portugal is actually making some good progress down there. Okay. Um, explore South Atlantic Sea, I guess. Okay, we're just one down at the moment. Recall the diplomat. Truce with Ravensburg has ended. This also takes a long time, building that textile manufactory. Hmm, I think I'm actually going to stop these guys from drilling. We're going to bring them into Amsterdam. We just protect it. We have the Bible translated. We could burn the priest. Or we could spread the Bibles. France's opinion will change by minus 10. This will increase France's opinion. It's going to annoy the, the people around us, but yeah, let's burn the priest in his books. <laughs> ah, native assimilation in Guadeloupe. We have 100 additional population in Guadeloupe. Very good. Very good. Mm. I'm actually thinking, we, we recall that guy, and we're going to send him down here. It's going to take a while, because he's got to travel back. Oldenburg has given back to Martian. Ravensburg is no longer steering. That's all right. But yeah, we're going to try to get Guadeloupe up and running. It's going to be it's going to be good if we when we have a second colonist, which is like the idea after the next idea, no exploration ideas. That's really good. Hmm. And we're going to have a terrorist efficiency, depending on how many ships we have. We have reformed refugees. We could gain... Utrecht might be annoyed. We gain one base tax, though. Um, Oversticht gets way less tax modifier and less manpower and more missionary strength. One of our neighbors is ruthlessly oppressing the minority of reformed followers. These poor souls wish to escape the persecution settled in our border province Friesland. Allowing this would benefit our economy but greatly upset our neighbor. Yeah, screw Utrecht. Just screw them. Who needs them? They're not important. Um, Cologne, Oldenburg. These guys might just go to war with me at some point. How are my how's my favor situation with France? We had eight favors, so if we get a couple more, we might be able to take Utrecht out. Okay, yeah, the current Regency Council actually doesn't view these as super viable provinces. Hmm. <laughs> I still want to go for the Netherlands soonish, but I can't until I have all my provinces. It's not that easy. Um, still much more efficient if I actually send my my diplomats instead of having that automated. It takes away a little bit of the micro. But then again. So yeah, that's the colonist. He's building the colony. Uh, we have the chance of growing the colony by an average of 60.6 .6 people per year. I thought... Um, can't we? Yeah, we can do this. We can grant the New World Charter, which gives us additional global settlers. So let's take that, make these guys a little bit more powerful. Let's also take the diplomatic power. 
And then give them the Monopoly Charters. That almost gives us like the, the next idea here. So yeah, that goes up. We're done with exploring the South Atlantic Sea. That's good. Further, people are stopping to steer our, their trade towards us. Oh man, come on. That belongs to Spain? Crap. I needed that one. I mean, we still have Fernando Po over here. Or Seo Chome. 700 away. I could really use that, though. I could really use that. I mean, the Falklands, Falklands are down there. Yeah, maybe we just use the Caribbean. It should be okay as a base. Uh, okay, let's go and explore. I'm gonna have you explore the... This place. Colonia de la Plata is to be the sole domain of Portugal. The, po the Pope has actually gone for the Treaty of Tordesillas. Yeah, screw this. I, I don't care about you, good Pope. We're reformed now. Um, let's push that so we have exploration ideas advanced. So the next one is going to be a colonist, which is going to help us develop our colonists um, a lot faster. You need a thousand people living in a colony to actually like make it viable. So we're going to try to push our colonies over here as fast as possible towards that. Um, that's going to be good. We're losing a little bit of money, just a tiny bit. Um, we can live with that, but we really shouldn't go above three colonies at the same time. So that's kind of going to be our speed of colonization. For now, I guess I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments I can improve. And if you want to see more of my stuff in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you join me next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.